so it is Elvis week and I wasn't even planning on making a video but I found out that Elvis was actually at my hotel in August of 1957. This is the Central Station Hotel. So back in Elvis's time in 1957, it was actually a running train station and Elvis was here with Anita Wood. So let's just explore and see where he was. So this is one set of main doors that are on Main Street. And I don't know which entrance he came in from, but here is one front door. So that is Main Street over there. And possibly he came in this way. There's a few different entrances. But if you see some of the photos, it's really hard to line up because there is a crowd around him. But there are these white pillars like this. And it could be this one, but there are a few of them. You know, the whole hotel or the whole building has been renovated, so it's really hard to tell where he was. But let's explore. This place is so cool. Some of these old benches. There's some new stuff, but they left some of the old charm. We were trying to figure out where he was last night based on this brick right here. But then we came down here and we saw, okay, this is a facade. So this is probably the brick that was there before. This train station was actually abandoned for maybe 20 years from the 70s to the 90s. But it looks really cool today. Let's go here. There's a lot of this cool old neon here. Some of it looks old, some of it could be new. But I wanted to show you the view from up here in this space. This is now, and there is the Grand Hall. But if you can see that it was the waiting area, I'm sure it's just for events now. It says Central Station in there. It's gonna be just an event space, but this is where the passengers would wait. And fun fact, this train station was called Grand Central Station before 1944. Isn't that cool? So the newspaper was there to capture all of this, and this is what was printed in the August 28th, 1957 edition of the Memphis Press Scimitar. It says, before boarding an 11 o'clock train last night at Central Station, Elvis Presley told a small crowd gathered to see him off a bit of information that may stir many a teenager's heart. That information? Anita is number one with me, strictly tops, Elvis beamed, meaning the pert and pretty blonde Anita Wood standing beside him. Anita Wood actually talks about this in her book, Once Upon a Time, Elvis and Anita. She mentions how she was stunned that Elvis actually revealed this since he had asked her to keep their relationship private. You'll probably notice in some of these photos Elvis's cousin Billy Smith behind him. At the time, he was just a young teen. So we don't know where he came from, but this is where he ended up. This is now the parking lot of the hotel, but this is where the train lines ran. So they have these, I don't know, these are called like the train stopper things still here. It's still an Amtrak station, but I'll put a picture up of the train line. Sorry if it's windy. The newspaper goes on to say, Elvis and three traveling companions left for the Pacific Northwest, where the rock and roller will make a personal appearance tour. 
about 25 young fans were on hand for his unannounced departure at 11 p.m. As the train lurched forward and Elvis waved, three small girls who had pushed to the front of the crowd began crying. One squealed, three whole weeks, I can't stand it, I'll just die. Elvis arrived at the station with his parents, Anita, and his male friends, George Klein, Cliff Cleaves, and Lamar Fike in the Presley's black Cadillac. Elvis embraced his mother several times, and she reminded him to be good, son, as he boarded the train. Take care of yourself, boy, said Mr. Presley. Yes, this is where Elvis was kissing Anita Wood goodbye. Right here in what is now a parking lot. It's a really cool Elvis history, downtown Memphis, and even just a cool historical spot because this hotel well, the train station was built in 1914. Super cool Elvis history in Memphis. Thank you for watching.